Thank you. State lawmakers finished their major work session of the year today. Along with finishing the budget after a delay of nearly three months, they also passed several bills taking away more of the governor's powers. WRAL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie reports that includes the power to appoint election officials. For years, the governor, whether Democrat or Republican, has appointed the State Board of Elections, and that board appoints the 100 county boards of elections. While a bill on the way to the governor's desk would give those appointments to state lawmakers instead. Lawmakers say that it'll improve voter confidence, but critics say it could bring the 2024 election to a grinding halt. The bill would change the State Board of Elections from five members chosen by the governor with a 3-2 majority of the governor's party to eight members, four Republicans and four Democrats, appointed by legislative leaders. Republicans say the even bipartisan split will increase voter confidence because it will take five votes to pass anything. But that means that if one party refuses to negotiate, the board cannot take action. That could affect everything from early voting sites to certifying presidential electors. Democratic Senator Julie Mayfield said it will make elections less secure, not more. It's clearly inappropriate and improper to be changing these appointments. And the only reason that this legislature is doing it is because of the change in the North Carolina Supreme Court. And you think you can get a different decision. For decades, the state Supreme Court has ruled the Constitution puts the governor, not lawmakers, in charge of elections. However, the new Republican majority on the state Supreme Court has signaled it may rule differently. Senate leader Phil Berger said the changes will boost public confidence in election integrity. He denied that they could cause gridlock next year. I suggest that, uh, that what you will likely see is boards of elections reaching agreement on, on these things. I, I think both Republicans and Democrats uh, like the idea of, uh, of early voting. Now, this is not the first time that lawmakers have tried to take authority over elections. In 2018, GOP lawmakers even put a constitutional amendment on the ballot to give themselves that power. The voters defeated it. Laura Leslie, WRAL News, Raleigh.